She does it with purpose. Hey, I'm Megan and I'm here in the Thrive Market Test Kitchen and today I'm going to show you everything you need to know about sous vide. I'm going to show you two easy recipes, one with steak and one with salmon. The great part about sous vide, it's amazing for Whole30, keto, paleo diets. You're not adding a lot of extra sauces or oils or fats because it's staying all in the little bag. So it's super flavorful, super tender, crazy moist. And then with my salmon, I'm actually doing a Whole30 marinade. So I'm looking out for you. I got you. Before I start, be sure to subscribe. And once you subscribe, there'll be a little bell that shows up and you can click that. And then every time there's a new video with me, I'm so sorry. It'll alert you. Also, if you do not know what Thrive Market is, it is an online grocery store that sells organic and non-GMO products delivered straight to your door. I'm using the meat from Thrive Market. I'm using salmon and these beautiful strip steaks. And I'm also using these stasher bags that you can find at Thrive Market as well. So it's not just groceries, oils, and pantry staples. It's things like stasher bags and meat and wine. What else do you need? What is sous vide? If you don't know, it's a water bath and it cooks it very evenly, slow. So when I put my steak in this machine, the circulator, it's gonna keep it at the exact temperature. So bonus, if I'm not ready right away, it'll keep it right at 130 or 140. But it is a circulator in a bowl or a dish. Sometimes they use large tubs. I'm using a uh, cast iron pot, water, and the machine. Benefits of sous vide, like I said, it keeps it at that exact temperature. I don't have to worry about overcooking my steaks. And that is sometimes a tricky thing. After these come out, I'll actually lightly sear them so I get a nice crispy crust, but I'll know the inside is perfectly medium rare and it will be on point. New York strip steaks. They are grass fed, they are from Thrive Market, and they are gorgeous. I want to heavily season my steak. Just using flaked sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper, and then I'm adding some thyme as well. But you can add, if you have your favorite steak seasoning or your favorite spice blend, favorite marinade. I'm using a stasher bag, and this is a half gallon. They come in all different sizes. Take the steak, fat side down, just carefully lay it in there. I'm going to add the other one, fat side up. And I'm going to take the thyme. You can use thyme or oregano or rosemary. Put a couple sprigs on both sides. This just adds more flavor. I'm going to leave it open. Carefully low it in the water. And this has already been preheating, so my water is up to the temp that I need it. And I'm going to use the water to help me release some of this air that's inside. Squeeze it all out. Seal the top. And then that's it. You can walk away. It's cooking it at a very specific temp. This is 130 because I want it medium rare. And it'll take about an hour. It's been an hour. <laughs> now I can show you how beautiful these steaks look. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Oh, you want to come out together? OK. It looks beautiful. It's cooked perfectly, and I want to put a nice sear on it. Let's sear some steaks. I have a crazy hot cast iron skillet. I don't know if you can see, but she's smoking. I have Primal Kitchen avocado oil. Avocado oil is great to use because it can withstand very high heat without burning. It's paleo, and it's Whole30. I'm adding butter, which obviously um, changes some things, but you can omit the butter. So avocado oil into the very hot skillet. And we're going to sear our steaks. Woo! Take a gander. Oh, la la. Can you see that? All right, at this point, I'm going to add my reserved au jus from cooking the meat itself. Oh, <laughs> woo! 
going to add some butter. This is totally optional. You do not have to do this. I'm also adding some more fresh thyme and garlic. Then I'm going to baste this baby. Oh my gosh. This smells so insane. Garlic and butter and thyme. These look perfect. Nice crispy crust. The thyme, the butter. So I'm going to remove this and slice it up. It's a heavy skillet, but I'm good thing I'm super jacked. All right, let's cut this up because I want you to see how beautiful it is inside. Bonus, you don't have to let the steak, a sous vide steak, rest like you would if you grilled it or you know did it in a pan regular style, normal style, if you didn't sous vide it, because the juices are already locked in. So usually you let steak rest so they redistribute. You don't have to do that. Quicker eating time. That looks beautiful. This is cooked to medium rare. If you like it a little more well done, you can cook it a little further. Just turn the temp up. But this, I mean, and look, on the board, sometimes when you cut a steak, it's like a, a puddle of juice. Not today. Andrew, you want a piece? Sure. You're fired. Uh. <laughs> Just kidding. Come here. No, no. Yes, you do. Can I feed it to you? Is it like we're in church? <laughs> this is the church of Megan. Mm. Mm, so Tender, oh, juicy. juicy. Oh, the flavor is amazing. Make it. Next recipe coming up. Salmon. Sous vide recipe number two. Salmon. And I'm using Thrive Market's wild sockeye salmon. It comes frozen. I defrosted it, but you can easily just put it in the stasher bag frozen. It's preference, whatever you want. I'm using Primal Kitchen's no soy teriyaki. It is gluten free and paleo. It's a sauce and a marinade. It's a marinade. If you're not into this flavor, they have a couple other options a lemon turmeric, a Greek, ooh, and a balsamic. And these are all. Whole30 and Paleo, and you can find them at thrivemarket.com. I'm going to grab my smaller stasher bag. This one is quart size? Oh, sandwich size. If you like a big sandwich. Place this in the bag. Pretty self-explanatory. Now, I am adding some sliced shiitake mushrooms. You could add portobello's or bell pepper. Oh, that was a totally different vegetable. <laughs> You could add bell peppers, portobellos, or creminis. Then I'm adding my sauce. Give it a little shake. About a quarter cup of sauce. Then I'm going to gently massage it. It's had a long day. It's had a rough week. Kids kept you up all night. Your in-laws are staying with you. I have my sous vide circulator ready and going at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So my water's already preheated. I'm going to carefully lower this in and try and remove as much air as possible. And the water's not crazy hot, like if your fingers touch it, you're not like, son of a biscuit. Make sure it sinks. If it wants to float up, we can just put a little boop, boop, clip me. It takes two to make a thing go right. I have four hands now. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, right? Where'd those other hands come from? I don't know. <laughs> so if it wants to float up, usually when it's vacuum sealed, there's no air, so it'll sink to the bottom. These aren't vacuum sealed, so just if you have a little clip, clip it on the side so everything's submerged. This will take about 45 minutes for perfect flaky, tender, moist salmon. See you in 45 minutes. My salmon is ready. It's been 45 minutes, which gives me time to steam my broccoli or cook my rice or potatoes or whatever you want on the side of your salmon. You can cook it during that time. Looks good. All righty. Mmm, smells good. all those mushrooms. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's like super tender and flaky. I'm going to pour a smidge bit of the sauce over it. I'm going to garnish with some sliced green onions because I just want to pop a color and freshness. 
I just want to give it a try. I mean, that looks so pretty. Super tender. Well, let me let me try it first. Mmm. Mmm. Sauce is delicious. Tender, flaky, and I'm kind of a weird person about salmon skin. This just melts away. You, it's not rubbery, it's not chewy, I'm not peeling it off. It just melts into the fish. And bonus about salmon skin, it has tons of omega-3, so you should be eating it. It's good for you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching these two sous vide recipes. You can find all of the ingredients that I use at thrivemarket.com slash prep school. Please like and comment, subscribe, tell me if you sous vide what you like to sous vide, any tips or tricks. I'm, I'm open to it. I don't know everything. I'm like what my husband says, I don't know everything. I hope you enjoy the video. Happy cooking. What's the internet? That's where this is. Oh this is going on the internet? No, I thought this was just for like internal use. Are people saying this? I'm on TV. The trolley is walking by. Anything from the trolley? Thank you for getting that. Harry Potts Potts. Ever seen it? It's a movie. And a book. It's pretty big.